Hello viewers. I was asked in the comments about the security of an analog versus a digital 900 megahertz telephone and it was an interesting discussion so I figured I would do a video of it instead of answering it in the comments and I would go through all of the uh, the different variants of 900 megahertz phones. So we have here, I have four instances we have single channel analog single channel analog voice scramble single channel digital and spread spectrum digital um, there might have been digital voice scramble if there were I don't remember them it's entirely possible that there were though all the ones that I have uh, that are voice scramble are analog so for the purpose of this video we're just going to stay with that it's the same concept that was digital so if they are out there just apply the concept to a digital transmission so let's talk about this one first this is the least secure of them all well, actually let me preface it by saying this all of these telephones do have one uh, element of security that's shared between all of them and that is a digital security code to activate the base when you put the handset on the cradle and then the charger light flickers a bit that's transmitting a new security code so the handset will have a security code and when you press the talk button it'll send that security code to the base and if it's a match the telephones will connect and it will seize the phone line and let you make calls if the security code doesn't match or there is no security code it won't seize the line it will prevent you from making calls the purpose of this was you know let's say you have neighbors that have a similar 900 megahertz telephone if there, that security code wasn't there, you could be making calls with each other's bases and that would be no good. So the security code on all these telephones is to keep out unwanted telephones you know, that don't belong to you. It doesn't do a thing for you if you're already on the phone and somebody's trying to pick up the reception. So, um, not reception, transmission. So, okay, so this telephone single channel analog if you want to change the channel this does have a channel button so it's manual channel but this had really no security this transmission is out there in the open for anybody with the regular old scanner to pick up now a lot of scanners didn't go quite up to 900 megahertz that's a little bit of a high bandwidth for a scanner but there were certainly scanners out there that did it and they weren't that hard to come by so really there was absolutely no security on these 900 megahertz analog phones and um, if somebody wanted to listen to your conversation they very well could and because of the range on these phones you could do it from quite a ways away um, so that was that really not secure at all so the next thing that came out was the voice scramble and the voice scramble is pretty cool it uh, it doesn't necessarily change the ability for somebody to intercept the transmission however it does prevent somebody from actually hearing what you're saying because the the voice scramble it kind of garbles the transmission or whatever you're saying over the telephone so the base can decode it and the handset can decode it but the average scanner is not going to decode it's just going to hear garbled nonsense so it was a lot more secure in the sense that if you have somebody going around with a scanner and they pick up your telephone call they're not going to hear what you're saying of course there were scanners that could decode it you know it's like everything else nowadays you can certainly get past it but it was definitely another level of security that these telephones didn't have and uh, so it was a, a fairly welcome technology and it worked you know for the most part um, unless you're really trying to get into your someone's telephone this would keep the average person playing around with a scanner out of your conversation. So next we have digital, single channel, um, or manual channel, I guess is a better way to say it, because I think they're actually 30 channel, or 25, um, I don't know what that particular one is, I don't remember. Anyways, um, so the digital was a, a pretty good jump in security, because at the time, most scanners were analog, of course now that's different because digital radios are a lot more of a thing now than they were 15-20 years ago so at the time 
digital worked quite well for keeping people out. You know, the average person playing with a scanner would not be able to pick up a digital transmission. And a digital scanner is pretty pricey. So unless you're, again, unless you're really going after somebody's telephone call, they weren't getting in. Um, yeah, that's really about all there's to say about it. It's more or less the same as this phone, just use, utilizing the uh, digital bandwidth. And, um, yeah, it's not a particularly interesting technology, honestly. It really isn't. Um, but, I mean, over the two, well, actually, see, it's interesting, because now, now as, as everything is changing over to digital, at some point, you're going to cross a line where the analog becomes more secure, simply because nobody's looking on the analog band anymore. So, you know, in their day... I would say this was this was less prone to get hacked into, but in today's world, everybody's playing with digital stuff now. Eventually, this will become less prone to be intercepted, only because it's so obsolete nobody's using it anymore. Uh, so that's kind of an interesting thing. Anyway, so the last one we're going to talk about is digital spread spectrum, and this honestly, I think, was probably the, the these 900 megahertz spread spectrum telephones were honestly the best telephones ever to exist. Even DEC6 Plus is not as good, in my opinion, as these 900 megahertz spread spectrum phones. This technology was really cool, and it was used for a very long time. It was used in 2.4 gigahertz, and it was used um, in 5.8 gigahertz as well, which was sold up until not that long ago. Uh, so the spread spectrum te technology really survived a long time and it's one of my favorite advances in cordless phones because it's a simple concept it really is but it's absolutely brilliant and it just works it, it's really effective and it solves so many issues so the way a digital spread spectrum phone works is you have a certain number of channels we'll just take 40 for instance you have 40 channels and most telephones like all these other three here They'll operate on one channel unless you happen to manually change the channel by pressing the channel button, then you can get a different channel. But for the most part, when you're transmitting, it's across a single channel. So it's pretty easy for somebody to come by and scan and pick up that channel. Spread spectrum telephones don't operate on a single channel. They operate across all 40 channels. And what it does is as you're talking on the telephone and it's transmitting, it's constantly changing channels. Um, I believe it's usually it's a couple times a second so you'll be going through you know four or five channels a second and the reason that's so great is because it's almost impossible for somebody to pick that up even if they have a scanner and they're going through the 900 megahertz band they're gonna hear you know a fifth of a second of the call which is kind of useless no matter what you're giving out I mean nothing that you no private information is a fifth of a second long so it's it's really brilliant in that sense um, the other thing it does is it eliminates interference because you're not operating on a single cluttered band but you got a, a whole wide bandwidth that you're working with now and it also expands the range quite a bit which is great the, um, the spread spectrum phones have way more range than the single channel ones do um, so yeah as far as security goes spread spectrum is really quite secure I mean of course there is technology out there that can pick up a spread spectrum transmission if you really want it but it's not you know everyday stuff most people are not going to be able to play with a scanner and get it to intercept digital spread spectrum. You got to have some really expensive stuff for that. So, um, yeah, as far as security goes, spread spectrum is by far the best. Um, but honestly, if it's not spread spectrum, 900 is not that secure. You know, the digital variants, the analog variants, voice scramble ones, yeah, I mean, you're not really going to have much of an issue using those, but. Um, by today's standards, single channel phones are are just not secure at all. Um, is is spread spectrum obsolete? Um, I don't know. 
I, I wouldn't, you know, I think in a lot of cases it's been taken over by encryption. And most people prefer to have an encrypted frequency like a DEC6 telephone over a spread spectrum. Honestly, I would take the spread spectrum. And again, it's it's partially because it's it's beginning to phase out. You know, everything is encrypted now. And not that encryption is easy to break, but people break it all the time. And the encryption used, like in the DEC6 phones, is so weak, it's pathetic. And anybody that's got any knowledge of encryption or hacking can get into it without a problem. Not that the same isn't true with spread spectrum, but... It's kind of a sense where, you know, if somebody today wants to listen to a phone call, they're going to look in the 900 band for a DEC 6 phone. No one's looking for a 900 megahertz spread spectrum phone anymore. So, in my opinion, I think if you want a secure cordless phone, the 900 megahertz spread spectrum is the best way to go. And, of course, I'm sure the comments box is going to blow up saying it's unencrypted. Yeah, well, you know what? I don't care. I like it, and I think it's absolutely brilliant. So that's a, a brief overview of the different securities of 900 megahertz cordless telephones. I will at some point get out a scanner, and I'm going to try to intercept one of these voice scramble phones, just so you can hear what it sounds like, because it's a pretty cool technology. Um, so we'll demonstrate that in the future, but for now, that's it. Hopefully that answered some questions, and uh, goodbye.